Hi, Rich Spisano here from Digitally Feelers. And I did a search on YouTube and I saw so many different tutorials in Affinity on how to create Chrome, but I could not see any where it showed the reflection of the Chrome. So I did end up seeing a video showing how Photoshop does it. It was on the Photoshop training channel. And it was really difficult. When Photoshop does reflection on Chrome, it has to keep rendering. You don't see exactly what you're doing, so you have to hit render and then go back and you have to keep checking. And I tried to think of a way that it would work on Affinity. And I think I've found a solution and I think it's so much easier and you don't have to worry about rendering at all. So let's get started. So this is what we're going to try and create, recreate again. Um, so let's just go to where we want to go. I'm going to go to a blank. It doesn't matter what size. You, I just said file new and it's any size. And what I'll do now is I'm going to go to stock photos and I typed in city and right here is city. So I'm just going to bring it over here. Of course it comes in at the wrong size. It's not the exact size of my canvas. So all I have to do is say document clip canvas. And now the canvas is the size. In this tutorial, I don't want it to be portrait, so I am really just going to stretch it a little. So I'm going to go to the crop tool and I will grab this and bring it out and maybe like that. That's not bad. I think that would work out just fine because I want my lettering across here and I just say apply. And then what I'll do is I'll go from here and I'll just stretch this out. So now I'm, let's go to my layers and I'm going to hide that. And now I am going to type in some letters and what I'll call it maybe reflection. Oops. All right, and let's get it on the canvas here. And I think that's pretty good. And now let's pick a font. I think I used Something with an L. Yeah, you know what I'll do? I'll go here into my other one that we did already and I'll select the font and it's called Luminari, which was already on my Mac. You can use any font you want, but I kind of like that one. So let's go back to this one and just type in Luminari. And there it is. So I want this to be more of a gray tone. You could pick any gray you want. I think I'm going to go like right about, I'm going to go fairly dark, like here. That sounds, that looks pretty good to me. Now, you there are other tutorials for Affinity on how to create Chrome. So I'm going to do this very quickly and simply. You can keep adjusting and adjusting until you get it perfectly, but I want you to watch. I'm going to get a close up. All you have to do is go to, on that layer where it says reflection, Go to the Effects tab, and on the Effects tab, you start out with 3D. And I would give it a pretty large amount of 3D. And then right here where it says Profile, I would choose this. You can choose different ones. See that? You can pick whatever one you like, but I'm going to go with this rounded one right here because I like that. Oops, I'm sorry, I'm gonna continue back here. And now I'm going to go to the lighting. Now the lighting is direction. You see how you can move the lighting around? Well, I'm going to keep that right there. And then I'm going to add another one. And I'm going to move that here. So you can add as many different lights as you want. And I'm going to change some of these later when the background is there, because it affects the background. So let's do it again. I'm going to add another one. And let's see where I'd like that to be. It's very hard to see. You know what? I am going to bring the background back just so we can have a darker background and get more of a feel of what we're doing here. So let's see. We can go like that. And then we can add another one. But this time, what I'm going to do is I'm going to choose the color of that light. So I'm going to go like that and I'm going to choose something in this light kind of orangey stuff. I think maybe something like that. 
and pick that. And with that light, I'm going to move that light around just to get a feel of where it might want it to be. I want it to be kind of on that side, which is nice. Coming off of this side here. And then I'm going to add another light. And this time I think I'll put it on that side and pick a color from one of these blues. Maybe like that. And that light could be moved. I think I'll go more blue. Let's bring some more blue in, like there. And I'll move that light around. So there's a little bit of that bluish in there. Can't see it very well, but it's in there for sure. And let's see, we can raise this ambient or lower the ambient light here. I'm going to leave it at that for now. I can change this at any time, which is great. Now I'm going to go to bevel and emboss and inner bevel. And this is, you've seen this, you can see this on any other affinity tutorial similar to this, uh, some detailed, some not. I just please stay till the end because the reflection I haven't seen anywhere. I'm sure after this tutorial, others are going to follow, but as of right today, there is, I haven't seen one, so maybe you have, but I'm going to just try and give it an inner bevel here. I can also do something like this. I can change these around to give some texture to this. And I think that looks pretty good like that. I think I like that. And I think I'm also going to give it, not an outer glow, um, an outline. And I'll keep the outline in black just to give it a little bit like that. All right, I'm good. So this is the part everyone else has shown so far. Now I'm going to try and show you my idea on how to do reflection. And I've done it several ways, and I'll give you a couple of examples really quick, but I'll show you my favorite of them all. So the second thing I tried was filter, distort, polar to rectangle. And this one worked also, uh, but I didn't like it as much again. You can use it and try it. I think it works for some things, so I'm going to undo that. But the one I finally decided on was filter, distort, rectangle to polar. And what it did is it gave us this whole circle. So I'm going to turn on these letters. The problem with the circle is that the, where the city is is in the middle and this is just a lot of mess to me. So I'm going to hold command and stretch this to where the city just kind of, the city itself is kind of in this reflection right here. And I think that's good. So I'm going to go control or command zero, bring it back. Okay, so now you decide where you want this reflection to be. And I kind of like this right here. And once you did that, you, what you do is you make sure that this is rasterized. It is rasterized already. But just double check, I'm putting rasterized on that background, not the original background. And now if you Command or Control, click on the icon where it's reflection, and then you click on the, the circle background there. You do Control, Copy, and then V, Paste, and then Control or Command D, and Deselect. So now if I took away all of this, this is what you have, and that's from that background. So here's the trick. I don't need this background anymore at all. Now you move this one above and it looks like crap. <laughs> so now you take reflection, the, the letters themselves, and what you do with that is you first do edit copy, control command C, and then go to the one above it and do edit paste effects. And now it's not perfect yet, now you have the effects. So this is actually that distorted background with the reflection here. And then you can look here and just see what you think works. 
color burn is kind of nice. You can always lower the opacity. Um, I think I found one. Every one is different, so you really have to go, depending on your background, go through all of these because different ones show different ideas. I mean, at one point I did one and I used um, luminosity, but I don't like luminosity in this one. So I am going to go each one. And this is taking a lot of process of power, I guess, because I have a few things open. So if you hear my fan, I hope you don't hear it. But if you hear my fan, I'm sorry about that. The fan is on my MacBook Pro going right now. Usually that does not happen. Um, I think I really want to show more of the underneath. Let's first try color. I'm going to first try color burn. Not sure I want to do that yet. And then lower the opacity. Kind of like that. That's not bad. And again, you can try any way you want. You can now remember that this is behind it. So it's still text. So you can take that text and lighten it if you want. That's the actual color of the text or darken it. Remember before we did the devil and emboss? So you can do things from underneath to help get that reflection going. You can also, if you want to change some of the effects on the actual top layer, uh, you can decide, well, maybe I think I need, let's see, an inner shadow. Let's give it an inner shadow. And let's see how that works. It may work. It may not. You can look at, you can do different things like this. And if that doesn't work, you can go to this one and give it an inner shadow, which I think sometimes works really good. Uh, let's see how much. Intensity, offset. You see how you can move things around? So it's all still live. When I saw the Photoshop tutorial, what happens is every time you do something, the letters are black. And then you have to render and wait and wait and then see, oh, it doesn't look good and then go back. But here in Affinity Photo, every single thing here is live. So everyone comes out slightly different uh once again you can change the opacity you can bring back more if you want it that way you could bring back less other things you can do for example if you take the two of these and group them so after you group it now you can do Controller command j and if you right click on the top one and say rasterize now all the effects are gone. It's just a pixel layer with the effects, so you can hide everything underneath. Uh, you can even hide the background, but we're not going to do that right now. So now on this one, you can actually give more effects on the actual uh, piece here. So what I'll do is I'll do gradient overlay, which is pretty ugly. And let's just do color, over, I think it's color or overlay like that. I might do color. And what I'll do here is I'm going to choose the colors from this place here, from the background. And then I'm going to choose that and say maybe one of these blues. And then I could choose, and now I could decide, I could decide how much I want to keep it. And I'm going to kind of lower that just to give it a little touch of the color. And I think that's it. I hope you found these videos useful. If you did, please click like and subscribe. And if you'd like to support me, you can buy me a cup of coffee at buymeacupofcoffee.com slash df. And I hope you'll check out some of my other videos. Thanks for watching. I really appreciate it. Bye.